Hello guys, today we're going to learn how to integrate PesaPal to our website while I'm on, I'm on this cookout. So PesaPal is a payment gateway. Uh, it accepts mobile payments and as well as cards in Kenya and is licensed by CBK. Today we're going to work on version 3 and I've already written several. So we're going to work on get token, register IP analyst, IP and initiate payment, validate and finally my notes. Um, I already have the class written here. I have helper where I'm putting my consumer key and consumer secret. Uh, you make sure you have an account there so you get this too. Then I have my principal class here, which I've written all the code already, and uh, it will be available on my GitHub. So as you can see, uh, I passed the headers that required. Then I'm using Gazol, uh, HTTP client. So oh, I've written the code for that. And the reason I'm doing this is because it was part of my a certain project I was working on, so I decided to separate the two. So yeah, so we have that one, and we have uh, we, I'm, on, I'm on live, so I'll just fill these details later, and I'll just call that one and return the data that I need. So uh, to start with, we're going to work on uh, getting token, and we need to pass consumer key and consumer secret. I've already passed mine uh, on the config, so just be able to access them from here. And this is what we're expecting back if we get either a success or an error. And, um, and as you can see, I call the, the URL, I get my message there, which will access token. So in this part, we're going to register our IPN, which is basically where we have to call instant payment notification endpoints. And you will just need to pass the URL and the IPN ID. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to fire ngrok, copy the ngrok endpoint. I'm going to declare a URL here. Um, then I'm going to edit this part to remove and then I'll put the URL here so you can pass it from my end. Clean the code a, bit, a little bit. Then I'm going to now call the register IPN method, which is PesaPal register PesaPal IPN. Pass the URL there and echo the response. And I want you to note uh, the most important thing that we'll need here. So let me comment out the token. So let me reload this. And now we have registered it. Success. Uh, we need to take note of the IPN ID. So I'll just copy this ID because we'll need it in the next session. And that's how you register your IPNs. In the next video, we'll look at how to list them. In this video, we're going to list our IPNs that we have already registered. So I'll hide this part, but this is generally what we're expecting. So I'm going here. Let me comment out that. So here we're just going to have um, IPNs is specified. Then we're accessing uh, IPNs, so list IPNs, and then we're just going to respond that the JSON file. This is a short video. And so once we do that, we are going to get them there. But because this is in production, I'm going to hide a few. So. Thank you very much. Let's meet in our next video. This is now the last part where we are going to learn how to create an order, pay for it, validate the status of a payment. So these are the request parameters. You can see the required parameters are listed there. And now I'll go to my code. Here I'm going to call the order payment. The order process on my end, I'm calling it order process where I need just to pass the amount, the phone number that's going to pay, and the callback. Use the ngrok URL that we had there and the code. This code can be anything, so in my case, I'm just choosing this one, but we might modify this based on the use case for what you're doing right now. So, yeah, so we respond that one. Let's fix the error up there. We put 254, perfect. Um, I think that's okay. Let's try this. Let's try to make the payment. Everything's there. So yeah, we missed the IPN URL. So let's modify the code so that uh, it fits our use. So we'll go to the order process. 
change these on so that we can have the uh, IPN. Let's replace the code with the IPN URL, I mean IPN ID. Let's just write anything here. So test API, that can be your transaction description. Um, then IPN ID, we are going to replace that code with that IPN ID. Let's start one. Uh, let's call it. It's good. Now we, when you click this link, we are able to pay. So if you on a website, you can load this in an iframe or just redirect the user to pay. But we're not going to do that. Let's change the endpoint to point back to the application that you're working on. So port 8000. So let's copy this and also do a few modifications. So we want to go to our validation endpoint. So pay actually inside the examples folder. Let's pay. Let's create the pay.php file here. Let's copy this first part there then we need to get the order track id so we copy it from this here is order tracking id perfect so let's copy that and put it there then on our method or for checking status because you'll notice that when PesaPal response does not tell you whether this transaction is successful or not for security reasons, so you have to query that one by your own. So that's why we need to have this one. So we pass ID, let's go to this method and modify actually tracking ID there. So we don't need it uh, on our, on this part, we don't need it. Perfect, that one will still work. And now let's respond with the verification. So here we're going to be expecting the transaction details, success, failed, and plus other transaction limit data so this was already expired let's try to make a payment again we'll need to modify one thing uh, yeah we'll need to modify one thing just remembered uh, that is it is pay.php and it's again it's example Let's change the amount to two shillings. So what will happen is when we make this payment, it will redirect back to the callback and then the callback will validate the transaction and maybe now enter to our database and anything like that. So you click the link, we're here. So let's enter our phone number because we want to use SDK. We can use Visa card or MasterCard, whichever it is. Let's pay. So I'm expecting to get an SDK push once this is through. A moment and uh, SDK appears. Let me enter my pin. Done. Payment successful. It has just reloaded by itself. Then I will redirect back to my callback, and the callback will validate with their servers. And boom, there you have it. That's how you validate a payment you can see now it's successful how much and all those metadata that you needed now that has been the fastest coding we've ever done on payment gateways i hope you liked it and uh, if you enjoy please don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment let's meet you next video